Hi, Cyrus Roos here, back with another Realm Grinder video, episode 83, and it's been several days since last episode. I'm on Reincarnation 45, which I actually have a trophy for that, so yeah, I'm, I'm one away from um, the big one, next Reincarnation, where I will unlock a major mechanic. So what I've been doing for Reincarnation 43 and 44 is I've just been using the Dwangel build. It's... I think it's basically the same thing as I was doing in episode 80. And I am trying to like max excavations. And the other thing you'll notice is that there's an event happening. It's a Halloween event. Um, I completely missed the Idyllium event, which I've heard is one of the big biggest events of the year because I didn't have access to my computer. But anyway, there's it's this um, Halloween event. I have 470 blood, 150 ectoplasm, and 150 bones. So, apparently I can get vampires and skeletons. So, um, it says, accompany yourself with an almighty vampire, gaining powerful bonuses. Click on this upgrade if you want to activate it and deactivate any other monsters. Says, yeah, these are monsters. Um, and the quests are, um, get all monsters level 10 and, um, smash four pumpkins. I'm not exactly sure what the pumpkins are. I, I've already have... Um, apparently I already have two out of four, so, yeah. And this is, grow all Halloween monsters level 50. I'm not sure if I'm going to really do this. And it has no reward at all. Same with this. Um, again, if these don't really have rewards, I'm not really going to, um, go that heavy for it. Um, it lo looks like this, these are just, um, like you need to... Use a certain monster, and then you need to collect a certain one of these. And then this is cast each Halloween spell. This Halloween spells. Ooh, that's pretty interesting. And then I think this is the big one. Collect at least 480 of each research, um, each not research resource in this event. It's not required to collect full stacks only. So this is this is the one that will permanently unlock a new upgrade. This one is collect at least a. Uh, Stack of 720 of any resource after having collected at least three pumpkins, and it just gives me uh, another cosmetic thing. So, yeah, I'm of, of course, there's also these quests. So, I probably want to grow this monster. I'm, I'll do the vampire. It says it unlocks and empowers the crucible of darkness upgrade. This perk is active even when using other monsters, and this is the same with every um, monster here. But this is, the vampire will give me Shadow of Embrace if I reach level 10, while the skeleton will give me Cannibalize. Okay, let's see. I should probably, okay, it looks like I am, I'm not exactly sure what the Crucible of Darkness upgrade is. It's probably one of these, if I can find it. Um, has to, has to be somewhere. I have no idea where it is, though. Um, maybe, maybe it's one of the ones I don't have yet. Uh, I, I don't know. But anyway, I yeah, I think I just want to keep getting the, um, I want to get this monster to level 10 so I can, um, unlock a new perk. Oh, I can do this. So I can, I can choose whether to use this, um, and I can just swap them at will. Interesting. Um, and then it gets more expensive after level 10. And at level 25, I unlock another perk. So I, I probably should just, um... Yeah, I'm just going to go here. It's level 16. Shadow Embrace is increase the size of your assistant army based on the amount of reincarnations you've made in um, for 30 seconds. Increases progressively as you continue um, casting the spell. And it's going to... Okay. Um, it looks like that it will... It's giving me 46 assistants. So it'll give me a small assistant boost. It's not going to be anything insane, um, but it'll be decent. And then I probably want to also get um, some bones here. But the thing is, if I um, I do, ha I'm I'm using the vampire monster pet. I call it pets for some reason. I, I don't know why. And uh, I just okay. I'll, I'll get um, blood like this. So there there's one feat. It's not really all that important, but I'll, at least it'll be able to get the vampires to 25, which. The perk is gain all bloodline effects of prestige factions outside your alignment at once. You can... Okay, I don't know what lineages are. Um, so this gives me um, Drow bloodline, except I don't... 
Well, I, I will be using Drove, but uh, I won't be using Drove. So that's a good faction coin boost right there. And then uh, apparently, and then there's a Dragon Bloodline. So okay, I, I'm I I have to explain this because um, Dragons is the next mechanic I'm gonna unlock. It's gonna be next reincarnation, and it's like uh, I don't want to spoil it too much for you guys, but it's a new faction. And also, here's the Crucible of Darkness upgrade is increase the production of all buildings based on Halloween resources collected, increases as you gain new monsters, and it's only a 6% production boost because Ascension nerfs probably. So, yeah, I'm just going to get all the research stuff such as, um, yeah, just, just get the A1 uh, Dwayne Jewel research build going, and this should be uh, very powerful. So... What was interesting is, that, is since I was offline in Reincarnation 43 for so long, um, I was easily be able to get the E26 gems that I needed for it. However, now that I'm uh, in Reincarnation 44, I didn't really have that offline time, which really, it's, I noticed it was just so much harder to reach E28 gems. It, it took about maybe two to three hours. So, this E30 is definitely possible, but it will take a bit of time. So, Dying Pickaxe is not one of these spells that is being used here. So, I, I feel like it's, I've been offline in this reincarnation for, for about uh, 10 hours, somewhere around that, 9 to 10 hours. So, hopefully that will be pretty good. Also, in reincarnation 33, not 33, 43... Um, I saw the max mana. It was at 227,000, which has to be a record, like for for at least a personal record. So, yeah, that's that's that. Essentially, I'm the process is pretty boring because all I'm doing is just go is is just going to the same research build using um, Druid Bloodline, and yeah, maybe I should actually check what. Um, the like this thing says like I, I don't even know so dragon is a new faction and that means it'll have a bloodline and I guess I get us get to see what it is before I, I'm supposed to and it says increase the production of all buildings based on faction coin find chance which it's only a like a 30 something percent production boost it's, it's not very good I mean it does it's something but I don't think that's like a bloodline worth actually actually worth going for. So yeah, um, I should probably just get this. So yeah, the process is just pretty boring. It's it's just do do these runs over and over and over again. I guess I should just start leveling up the um, vampires and the skeletons because. It will um, empower the Crucible of Darkness upgrade, so I, I can get I can get this up I can get the vampire up to twenty seven, and um, I can get the um, skeleton to level seven. So this should help the Crucible of Darkness upgrade, even though it's it's not all that much. It'll do something, and yeah, I, I think for the rest of this reincarnation, it's it's really just the same process over and over again as the amount of gems I gain with each abdication. Um, like proportionally decreases, so I, I'm I'm just gonna I'm, I'm I'm not gonna record this the rest of this reincarnation at least at least unless something interesting happens in an event. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back another ten hours later, and you can see I can get 7.5 e29 gems from abdication. It's almost half of the amount I need to reincarnate. And also, I was actually looking something up and I noticed I, I completely missed this this thing here. It's one of the reincarnation powers. It's new for reincarnation 45. As it says it's basically it increases max mana by like 8,000. So yeah, I don't know how I missed that, but I did. So yeah, and also I got a trophy here. It's for, I think it's one quintillion faction coins because I have E17, which is pretty crazy. I can also get all of these spell tiers. Um, spelt your stuff here, and it's, it says oh, these are just offline production, but still. And let's just see. Let's see how many Royal Exchange. I have 396 of each Royal Exchange, which is just absurd. 
and yeah, I already have all of these. And also, I got another pumpkin, so this means I can, um, okay, I, I feel like, yeah, I, I can just get this. Um, I can get the skeletons and the um, ghosts, so I guess I'm just going to level these up as much as I can. Um, the Banishee is the new one, and I already got him to level 10 already, so um, the new spell is Wall of the Banishee. I could probably do this here. And boom, that's another, that's a quest there. So that will help me push even farther. And this is this spell is Cannibalize. So be, because these trophies are like, get Ectoplasm while having a, a ghost monster pet, I'm just going to do this. Let's see what Wall of the Banishee even does. It's increase the production of all buildings based on mana produced this game and the amount of reincarnations you've made for two minutes. Okay, so this, this is 109%. This is... Um, Increase assistance by like 700 or 800. Let's see what this one is. It's increased faction coin find chance based on the total amount of bones you collect and the amount of reincarnations you made for two minutes. Well, this will help me get even more. Imagine, imagine my faction coin build with the cannibalized spell. That would be insane. But I think the best spell for just production is the Wall of Banishee because it's it's 109 percent, which is probably better than like. 800 assistance so I think honestly I should probably just buy smarts here instead of buy um, instead of the buy um, max because then I can like also get excavations which I probably should buy max for so 29 29 excavations which is quite a lot and then I feel okay maybe now I can buy max here and halls of legends are now doing um, the vast majority for some reason, it's it's not um, Heaven's Domain anymore, so I think I should just yeah, I should just get all of these and then probably abdicate here, so I can get um because I, I feel like this is like four orders of magnitude of gems, and since I have the um the ghoul or the, the, the banishee, not the ghoul, whatever um I I'll get the exoplasm which will give me this feat so. This will also allow me to level this up, hopefully to 25. I, I think it, I think it should. Uh, no, it's only 23, unfortunately. How how much do I even need? I'm I'm probably like an I'm like an hour away from level 25. But yeah, maybe, maybe it's better to to use um, the vampire because I'm, I'm. Does the perks only apply if you're? I'm actually curious. Let, let's see if the if this perk even applies like, like let's see i'm getting e62 coins every second if i go here does it go up or down it goes up to e64 so i probably should be using um yeah the vampire so like even though the spell is weaker it's the perk just makes it all the better so i probably should just abdicate i'm i'm halfway to the to the reincarnation requirement and i think like this is like four orders of magnitude of gems right here, so yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be big. Like once once I I get everything going, like get all the research going, like this, a one dwindle, and then just get everything. Um, yeah, I, I think things are just gonna go crazy. Cause now here is the rest of the research stuff, and. It's only E17, it's probably because I'm not buying any spells, or not casting any spells, not buying spells. Oops, not, not caps lock, use um, shift. And then, um, I, st I still have more research stuff I can I can get. And look at this, E27, I only need 8.8 .8 E29. That's what I need. And I'm like, essentially, like I'm, I'm already like 2% of the way there. So that this means that I will, easily be able to to reach the reincarnation requirements and there's nothing there's nothing that it says here but i think i or i know that something big happens in reincarnation 46 i think i think it's dragons if i'm that's what i think it is it's not dragons i have no idea what it is so uh yeah it looks like i just have to wait um, it's not not even that much of a wait. It's literally probably gonna be like three minutes. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, it's been more like thirty seconds or something, or maybe forty-five seconds, and I 
can get enough gems to reincarnate. So, here we go. Reincarnation 46. This is going to be next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Thank you.